Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm actually going to review an African city. And also I want to thank, I want to use this opportunity to thank everybody that has watched, that watches my videos, that supports me, that leave their comments, that tell me what to do, where I'm going wrong, and you know, all those little, little things that will help make my channel better. I just want to say I appreciate all of you from the bottom of my heart. So my name is Ifwa, and join me whilst I review an African city. So an African city is a show that is based in Ghana. So an African city is like they're supposed so I think the idea behind an African city is that it's supposed to represent like a, any kind of African city, but this specific African city is Accra. So it follows the lives of five young Ghanaian women who have returned from the western side of the world, so from America and Europe, and are now settling in Ghana and the various challenges they face, the various situations that they go through, and you know all the little little things that happens to like returnees when they come back to their country. So this five women is Nanaya, who's like the leader of the group online who's like the she's the one that narrates the story there's ingozi who is like this you know prim and proper person she's a vegan or vegetarian i think she's a vegan there's shade that i don't give a fuck kind of girl there's makina who's like the lawyer and the fifth person i'm always forgetting her name but this fifth person she's like an entrepreneur so then that's it like the show follows these five young women and their fabulous life so the first thing about the show is where season three Nicola Matthew, what is season three? Because you know, season one is out. Like, see, if you want, if anybody wants to watch season one, season one is on YouTube. So, if you type an African city, you can, can have the opportunity to watch season one. Season two is on their website. So, I'm going to link the website below so that if you are interested in watching an African city, you can actually get to watch it. And then, season three is nowhere to be found. So, I don't know, maybe when this video goes up, the season three will be announced. But till now, I don't know when the season three is coming out. So if anybody knows when the season 3 is coming out or anybody has an inside scoop, please let me know. I, I really want to know because I'm really interested in the show and I want to know what happens in the show. Do we have an understanding? Thank you very much. So the next thing about the show is I like the storyline so much. I like the costume so much. I like the location in which it's shot. Like I like most of these stuff about it because think about it. This is a story about five young women. Who are living their lives who are talking about you know the stuff that happens to them and are not restricted by the Ghanaian conservative mentality like they are not restricted by the fact that oh we don't talk about this here or this isn't one of the things we talk about like these are people who are speaking their minds they are saying okay so this happened and that happened and I like it so much like you know because most of the series that we've seen in Ghana they are they feel very sublime or they feel very behind a veneer of like respectability it's not afraid to say what these girls are actually doing or going through so i like that about it so much i like the costumes i like the fact that so even though most of the costumes are very western there's still a few of african prints and ankara prints and all those other stuff and then the next thing i like about the show is the soundtrack it has the soundtrack for the show is really really amazing because it's very apt like situation after situation all the soundtracks or all the music that is played is is like really concise about it it's like watching insecure on hbo because if you watch insecure you realize that there are some scenes that when the music plays you go oh okay okay i see what you guys did there that's what the show does and i really like about it like if you watch the show and like some music is being played you go like mm, i see i see what you guys did there i i, I really like it so that's my next thing about the show. The soundtrack for the show is really good. I don't know if they have like a SoundCloud or like an iTunes playlist or like a soundtrack for the show. I really hope they do because some of the music I haven't, I hadn't heard of it before. I don't think I've heard of it after I watched the show. So if they could do like a compilation, I'll be down for it. So I think they should think of doing that. So my biggest pet peeve about the show is that why don't they meet anybody from Ghana? how are you in ghana and all the people you meet come from either europe or america or canada i've never met them like because even the Ghanaians that they meet are they are weird Ghanaians. like they're not like the average Ghanaians, right like and it, it makes me feel some way that okay is it that all the nice people are people that come from america or from europe or from anywhere because anytime they meet a new guy it's always oh, okay so i went to yale law school and we're like oh i'm in oxford i was in oxford business school so i just, i worked in 
Bedfordshire house and Chelsea house and Manchester house and here house and New York house and LA. Every single person they meet, especially the guys, every single one of them, they all were in Europe. Cause I remember, I think Nanaya met one of the guys and then the guy was like, oh, I remember I saw you once in Chelsea. Like, oh no, no, it was in Stratford. And I was like, kill me already. Cause it, it makes it feel weird and it makes it feel not believable enough because I haven't met, I haven't seen any scene that they met a guy that they asked, like, okay, so what, what school did you go to? And I was like, oh, I went to University of Ghana, or I went to KNUST, or I went to Central, or I went to UCC, or I went to Zenith. No, 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 not for this, not for this series. Mm? This series, they're all from Yale, Oxford, Harvard, Cambridge, UPenn, NYU, you know, the schools. And it makes that's like my biggest thing about them every single person they meet has to have like has to be a returnee like, i don't think i know that many returnees or maybe these people are meeting them in places that i don't go to if not you guys should give me the hookup i, I really want to meet these people too my next thing about the show is the sex scenes people who has sex with their bra on because think about it because you're always talking about the fact that oh, if you're a woman and you get to the house the first thing you take off your wig and your bra like that's just your wig and bra so your breast will feel free but these people actually have sex with their bras on and their bras actually look tight on them because there's a scene in season two episode one where ingozi no where shade is having sex right and then she has on a bra and a morning coat and I don't know how it was shot, right? But I could still see that the morning coat was, she was fully covered, and it wasn't like the morning coat was bunched up whilst it was going on. And I don't know who has sex with their bra on. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm the one being overly somewhere about it. And I know a lot of people are going to give me a lot of side eye about what, who do I think I am, and about sex. No, no, no. But my point is, I'm not expecting you to give us power sex scenes because if you guys can give us power sex scenes mad props to you but what we are saying is if you don't want to show us the sex scenes then immediately is as it's beginning just cut to a different scene if not make us believe the sex scene we are watching don't try to short change us and let these girls have a bra on whilst having sex how do people have sex with their bras on because it's not like they're having a quickie Sometimes the mood is set, romantic candles, music playing, and the girl has her bra on. How? Who has sex with the bra on? I mean, that's like my biggest thing about it, the fact that the bras are on during sex. I don't like that. You better do right by us and make us believe the sex scene, okay? Can we do that? So my next thing about, or my next thought about the show is the fact that I don't, there are certain situations that they portray that are not very believable because there was a scene right whereby when the guy has sex he throws the con like after sex he throws the condoms around who like which African man will finish having sex and throw the condom anywhere when we believe so much in juju when we believe in jazz and like someone can use my sperms against me and you're throwing the condoms around no, that's that episode felt very weird like it felt like it was eh, I did, like it wasn't quite believable because I don't know anybody that does that if you know anybody any guy any guy that has sex and throws his condoms about please let me know like because I haven't met anybody like that and I'm really seriously seriously hoping to meet someone like that because it was so weird and it was so like it was so weird and it was so are you sure because that's that's how i feel like when i watch certain scenes in the show like this thing can never happen that can never happen just no oh, who does this because if you are trying to because the only part that i thought was quite okay was the fact that uh, one of them said that oh she wants like the guy to go down on her and then the guy's like no african men don't do that i could have believed that because a lot of guys i'll tell you that i don't go down on women there are certain situations that really really make me question the show like like it, it makes me take it like have a double take like are you sure like are you serious because you're not because you know the suspension of belief and then there's suspension of belief fast and furious is different but if you are trying to let us know that this is what happens make us believe it a tad more so that's just 
my thing about Africans is the fact that um situations just are not believable. So that's just it. My last thought about the show is that they don't delve deeper into certain issues. It's like when they touch upon the issue, then it just lights away. So it's like we just look at it and it just goes away. As, and it shouldn't be like that because if you are talking about an African city, if you are talking about these girls are now back to their country and this is wrong and this goes on and this goes on, you know, let us see it. But they don't. It's just like we do a surface reading of the issue and then we just drop it. Because there was this place where Shade was stopped by the police, right? And then she was shaking so much and then, you know, she was scared of the police and Ghana police. You know, this was a grand opportunity, right? To do how if you're a returnee, you are treated differently than if you were in Ghana, right? Because if you are a Ghanaian person and the police stops you, you're not getting out of it. But I thought like that was a perfect opportunity for her to get like her slur on and be like, oh officer, no, I, I'm so sorry I didn't have my license on me. You know, you know the difference between the way a returnee is treated and the way a Ghanaian person is treated. I don't get that from the show. Like the show, I guess, is just solely based on the returnees. But at the same time, I felt that it should also deal with how certain, like how the rest of the country deals with stuff. Because also part of the show where Nanaya wanted an apartment to rent, and she was going from place to place, and like na even though it, it spoke about the fact that apartments are expensive, it didn't show like how expensive and how much. It like it doesn't correlate to like what you earn in this country. Like it was just like oh, okay, I can I can get a loan and then afford it. But not everybody can afford some of these apartments and stuff like that. So I think that's like my thing about this show. The fact that it doesn't delve deeper into the issues. That's the same thing I had with Yolo. The fact that there's so many things to talk about, but because it's just surface stuff, it's not really looked at into like deeper context into deeper details so the first season of an african city has it's like 10 minutes per episode right yes like 10 minutes per episode and like the second season is like 27 so 30 minutes per episode so you get to see like a little bit flesh is added to the season two so if season three is coming up i hope that is way better than the past two seasons because the show is really really good i like the concept for the show i like the execution i like the picture quality i like everything about the show but if you're going to be sexy in season three please people remove the bra so then that's just it i'm done with my seven thoughts and observations about an african city so have you seen an african city would you watch an african city please watch if you haven't seen it let me know what you thought about it leave your comments below about the show if you have seen it so once you are here why don't you check out my other videos that are going to be lined up right here and then please subscribe to my channel no the subscribe button is here or there so just subscribe to my channel like this video share my video and then i'll see you on my next video can we do that now